Hey everybody, welcome to my home. My name is Becky and I am so excited that you're here today. Well, you are probably scratching your head wondering what the heck am I doing today? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Next week, I'm going to be doing a Thriftmas in July video and with a, it's gonna be a collaboration. I'll tell you about that later. But I thought to myself, hey, if I'm gonna do a Thriftmas in July video, I'm gonna do a Thriftoween video too because you know Halloween is where my heart lies. So most of you may remember Flossie. She's my friend who pops out during the Halloween season, but I brought her out for this fun occasion and we're going to be doing a small miniature haul on things that I have picked up during this year for Halloween. Now I have this box in my closet and during the year, all year long, if I find anything holiday re related, I'll put in this box because instead of having to take it all the way out to the shed and find the box that it goes in, it's just easier for me to keep it in this box in my closet. And then as the holiday rolls around, I'll go look in there and find things that I had kind of forgotten that I even had. So it is July. I know it's July. I get this. A lot of you had asked me, you know, when do you start buying Halloween decor. Well, I start in June because that's when the stores start putting out Halloween. Not all of them. Most of them don't start till after July, but if you've got like an at-home store or a, what is it called? A um, old-time pottery, Cracker Barrel starting to sprinkle out a few things. And I went into Home Goods today and I saw a little cart with just a touch of Halloween that's getting ready to come out in the next day or two. So it's going to start popping out pretty soon for sure after 4th of July. So make sure if you're wanting to look for some holiday decor that you start early because it goes fast. Halloween has really gotten popular or decorating for Halloween's really gotten popular over the last few years and the pieces are, they just go fast, especially the, the fun ones. I know my videos on here are typically related to vintage decor and vintage inspired everything. But during the holidays, it's kind of hard to find everything vintage for all the holidays. So there is going to be a lot of modern store-bought decor that comes out when I decorate for Halloween and for Christmas and for all the holidays, really, because I have to use what I've already purchased and I have to kind of mix it in together. So that's why I like to thrift throughout the year so that I can add the vintage and the older items with the new store-bought items. So if Flossie is ready, she's ready for 4th of July and I'm ready for Halloween. So <laughs> if Flossie's ready, we're gonna start our little miniature haul. I don't have a lot, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what I have. The first piece that I have, it actually didn't come from a thrift store. It came from an antique store, but Summer and Michael bought this for me when they were at a local antique store. It seems to be homemade. She is hand painted, it looks, handmade, um, mostly. She's got like, I guess this is wool hair, sort of. I don't know how, if she's 100% handmade or not, but I just love her. The tag is still attached on how much they paid for her. They paid $28.50 for this beautiful girl. And I'm gonna make sure she has a wonderful home in my collection. Now, this next piece I'm gonna show you was not thrifted, it was a gift. I've already shared it with you one time, but I still wanna share it again because she's she was in that box too. And um, I thought, why not? Let's put the two girls together and see how they, they look together. This piece was handmade as well. It was made by another YouTuber on here. If you have not ever seen the old so-and-so, Susan, you need to go check her out. She's an amazing decorator and um, she's a crafter. She's a reseller. She does all kinds of fun things on her channel. And she has the personality of your best friend from down home that you would just get along with as soon as you meet her. But she sent me this and I wanted to put the two together even though she wasn't thrifted, I think I want. I just wanted to see what they look like together. So I love them. And then the next piece I actually picked up today, which was what kind of inspired me to do this video. Um, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do this week, but I found this piece and I did a little makeover on him. I got this at Goodwill for $3.69. 
I'm gonna put a picture right here on what it looked like when I bought it. I took a little spray paint and took the black face off and then put another one back on. And this is like, I think from the 70s, it's a hobbyist piece that someone made. It's got some initials carved in there, but I just love it. And if you go on eBay right now and look at these, they're about $40 just with no face at all. So I think I got a steal of a deal and I love that. This other piece is, it's funny for me to call this vintage because this is from my childhood era. This is vintage Dollar Tree. Back in the day when Dollar Tree first came out, um, they would have cute little bisque items like this. It's got the tag on the bottom that says Dollar Tree, but you know, these are going on 20 some years old now. So I think that classifies it as vintage as bad as I hate to admit that, but I love these little ghosts with the little pumpkins at the bottom. And I think this was actually, my niece was cleaning out the garage and she said, do you want this? And I said, yeah, I do. So it wasn't, I didn't actually buy it. It was given to me, it was another gift. And then is that everything? The last thing I wanna show you is, because I didn't have a lot, um, I went into my shed and I pulled out a piece that I have never shared with you before. It was from a yard sale. It was absolutely a good find. I probably didn't pay more than $5 for it, but I did not get it this year. So I'm cheating just a little bit, but I didn't have a real big haul to show you. So I'm gonna show you this, even though it's not from this year, but you've seen, you've never seen it before. This is a piece from Department 56 and it is a haunted barn. And I'm gonna show you, this is just the box to show you that it is Department 56. But here is the barn. It does make noise and it does light up. My favorite part of this barn are the little pumpkins hanging from the, the roof there. And I love this piece. I'm gonna turn it here. I like the fact that the windows are broken and it looks like it's kind of dilapidated. And I'm gonna turn it this way and you can see more broken windows, see right there. And it's just a cute little piece. The windows are boarded up. It's kind of fall, kind of Halloween, which you guys might appreciate because I know you all don't love, love, love the Halloween, but um, that's okay. You don't have to. You, you just hang out uh, until next week and I'll show you my, my Christmas haul. But this goes with it. And then it has a little black fence that goes with it. And it also comes with a black tree, but the tree was not in the box. It's packed up somewhere else. So, but it's just a little branchy tree is what it is. There's the fence and there's the scarecrow. And here is the kind of how it would look. So I'm sure I didn't pay more than $5 for this. I don't quite remember, but I thought it was worth a share. I'm interrupting this regularly scheduled program for just a second. Please excuse the way I look. We've been at the water park all week. I have the 4th of July week off from work, so we've been doing stuff every day, trying our best to be out and enjoy each other, me and the girls and David. So I just got home and there was a package on my door, so I wanted to include it in this video. And while it's not actually thrifted, it's cheap enough to where I thought I could add it in to the thrifting video. So I was on in one of my Halloween moves one night and I got on eBay and I saw these little pumpkin men that I thought were so cute. And they were made by Department 56 and they were $10 for the starting bid. Well, nobody else <laughs> bid on them and I won them. Um, I never expected to win them. I really didn't. I was kind of expecting to bid on them and have somebody beat me within a day or two, but nobody bid on them. Go figure. <laughs> you're either going to love these or you're going to hate these. But I didn't know how big they were going to be. I kind of thought they would be like this big. I was hoping they wouldn't be like a couple inches and, you know, then I would feel like I was taken because they were only 10, they were $10 each. So... I got home, this huge box was on my porch, and let me show you these little pumpkin men that were waiting for me. <laughs> I don't even know what David's gonna say when he sees them, when he gets home and sees these. But this is Department 56, there's the tag. Brand new with tag, they were still in the box. Brand new, and they're mine. <laughs> 
So I wanted to include these in the video. So um, it should be coming out to you in just a couple minutes, but this is real time Thursday. I'm going to release it here in just a few minutes, but um, back to your regular scheduled program. Now I do have a couple things that are fall that are not Halloween. I'm going to throw them in as well, just for the heck of it. But, um, you know, they're not, they're not Halloween. It's kind of going against my theme here, but it's okay. We'll share them anyway, because I know you guys kind of prefer fall over Halloween. Most of you do anyway, but hold on one second and I'll go grab them. Okay, so I grabbed my handful of fall items that I'm gonna add into this video just to add a little bit of length to it because I don't have a whole lot of Halloween, unfortunately. I wish I did. I wish I could tell you that I have all kinds of new Halloween decor to add, but I just didn't find any this year. Um, most of you know, if you don't know, I usually try to put up a tree for most all occasions. I just decorated a 4th of July tree and my next big tree will be a fall tree. So I found these ornaments, they're brown, and the whole bag was $4. Um, I know there's a glare, so let me see if I can pull them out. They're plastic, and I got a whole bag of them to go on my fall tree, so um, that was a good deal. I also got some bigger pieces that were a dollar a piece. I got four of these and they're kind of sparkly and fun and i think that'll add a good little bit of fun to my fall tree so that is for fall time so there was a yard sale within walking distance of my home just a couple weeks ago that i went to i didn't really go expecting a whole lot but you know when you go to a yard sale you always feel kind of obligated to buy something so i did pick up a couple things from her she apparently was a hobbyist back in the 70s because she had a lot of hobbyist pieces i did pick up a few uh valentine's day girls that i'm not really sharing here today but i'll show you what i did get because it's relevant to the fall and the halloween season but she painted these little pilgrims and i think she did a fairly good job um the eyes are a little crooked but that's okay i mean i couldn't have done this good for sure so i think she did a good job on these they were about a dollar a piece so i picked those up and then this other set of pilgrims that i picked up were not a hobbyist piece they were actually bought from walmart because there's a little bit of a tag still remaining on the bottom but I thought they were so adorable and they would be really cute in my tear tray when the time comes. So we'll definitely probably do fall decor first and then switch it over to Halloween because that way we can start decorating in August. <laughs> I think that's what we did last year. I'm a little nervous about doing year two on YouTube because I shared so much of me and my home with you guys this first year that I feel like, what else can I share? What else can I show you that you haven't already seen before? Um, that's kind of partially why I didn't do a whole lot of decorating, rating for, decorating for the 4th of July because I'd already shared everything. And um, I've got to figure out how to change things up without taking days of thought behind it because it takes so much thought to decorate your whole house so but I'm looking forward to pulling out all of that goodness out there because just me walking out there to get flossy my endorphins were just like pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I was like I want to take it out now I want to decorate now my neighbors I, I, are just they don't know what to think of me anymore um, two weeks ago I was pulling out a Christmas tree and decorate because I decorated for the 4th of July and now I'm pulling out a skeleton so I don't even I can only imagine what's going through their head when they see me go to that shed because this is the kind of shenanigans that I come up with when I go to my shed and I think they're kind of maybe used to it they don't say a whole lot they just kind of watch and and stare <laughs> but we know what we're doing don't we Flossie yeah, we're good. But if Halloween is not your thing, that's okay. Next week, we're gonna do Thriftmas in July, and I'm going to do a collaboration with that one, and I'll tell you more about that next week. But Thriftmas in July was not my idea. I hopped onto a 
collab train or something, you know, like where uh, lots of different YouTubers come together. And I felt like it wasn't really mine to take as my own. So I uh, reached out to the original person who um, started the, who invited me last year to join the collaboration. And she wasn't gonna do one this year. And she asked me, did I wanna do it? I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm quite ready for that. But we're going to do our video next week together, just she and I, and that's good enough. Because As long as she gets the credit, that's all I care about. So that's all I have for you today. I do appreciate you guys taking a few minutes of your day to spend with me. And until next time, Flossie and I wanna just say, we love you all and we'll see you later, bye.